We have disassembled the suspension, bumper brackets, and miscellaneous parts in the 68 Dodge Charger project, and we have them all laid out here. Now the next step is media blast, then powder coating. All right, I just got all of the parts laid out. And the last time you saw the suspension parts and brackets, well, they were not in this condition. We've gotten all of the uh, powder coating complete. And it was all refinished in a satin black. Really nice finish. Really durable finish. Much more durable than uh, painting, especially underneath of a vehicle. And you can see we have really nice coverage. Detail is everything. Now you'll notice there are areas that haven't been powder coated. And there's a reason for that. Now these are all fitment areas where two parts fit together. Whenever you powder coat, there is a build in mills. And if you have a really tight tolerance, well, kind of like this uh, area here where the bushing would press in, well, you would have a really bad day trying to press a bushing in if that had been powder coated, and especially here. Now, these are threads. Yeah, that would be a not happy face day. So, those areas were masked off so that the powder coat couldn't be applied there any threads, threaded areas. And where we couldn't mask, well, these little plugs were installed. And then when uh, the process is done, they just simply push out. And here's the end of the torsion bar. And so you can see without being powder coated, uh, these fit together. You can install and uh, uninstall pretty easily. If that had been powder coated, yeah, that would not uh, play out like that. So on those areas that have not been powder coated, well, they have to have something, some type of uh, coat, rust preventative coating. So we mixed up some DP90 epoxy primer, and we're just going to uh, manually coat those areas. And we're going to make sure we get good coverage. We're not just going to slop in the primer. We're going to take our time, smooth it out. Make sure it's not dripping everywhere and not pooling or puddling. And then we're going to take care of uh, the, where the bushing is going to be pressed into place. And you can do this with a foam brush too. A foam brush works really well also. Just taking our time, making uh, make sure we get good coverage. We don't want to miss any areas. And there we have it. Now those areas are protected and it has a much thinner coating on it. That's going to allow the parts to be installed much, much easier. And here is the uh, finished look. Now our parts are uh, completely finished and protected from rust.